Chief Wendy Norgal replaced Megan by Serena Williams in People Magazine's 50th anniversary cover. People Magazine's 50th anniversary cover, no Megan in it, although this is a daily PR machine, so why was Meghan Markle excluded from the cover? People is marking its 50th anniversary with some fun favourite cover stars. On April the 10th, People Editor-in-Chief Wendy Norgal revealed exclusively on Today the magazine's 50th anniversary issue. In honour of the milestone edition of the magazine, People enlisted 11 celebrities and one adorable corgi in fields ranging from music, movies, TV, sports and more to appear on the cover. Sexiest Man Alive, Alums, Matthew McConaughey, Dwayne Johnson and John Legend reflect on their careers and hunky titles, while Hollywood legends like Serena Williams, Jennifer Aniston, Oprah Winfrey and Michael J. Fox open up about their trailblazing careers. The stars are also joined by Drew Barrymore, Viola Davis, Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon. The special issue will be available on newsstands on Friday the 12th of April. Since its debut in 1974, People has been making headlines with its pop culture exclusives, storytelling, captivating photos and more. With its 50th anniversary issue, the magazine's raising a toast and highlighting the personalities who've shaped culture. Now this covers Photoshop to the extreme, to the extent that I can't make out if it's a composite photo or a single take group photo. Maybe People magazine will even put out a press note like British Vogue about how challenging it was to get all these big celebrities to come to the same place at the same time for a photo shoot. Meanwhile, they probably spent months photographing all of the big celebrities individually and the designer carefully jigsaw puzzled them into one photo that kinda sorta looks passable. Or maybe they used wax statues of all the celebrities. Anyway, rant over, and of course Meghan Markle isn't included. She can't hold a candle to any of these celebrities, including the adorable Corgi. Meghan's appeared on the cover of People magazine many times, but with negative headlines. Now she's not chosen to be one of the important icons of the magazine. Meghan Markle feels absolutely humiliated that she's been called a B-list actress. If that weren't enough, her husband Prince Harry's been branded as a petulant child as Mr and Mrs Sussex, are once again being criticised for their public behaviour. Royal expert and author Nathan Kay certainly didn't hold back in his latest piece for Express UK when he suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have no one to blame but themselves for everything that's gone wrong in their lives so far. In his piece, Kay also said that the only way Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will survive moving forward is if they regain access to the royal family. But because of everything that's happened so far, it's very unlikely that it'll happen. In fact, Prince William might be the one who might even stop them from ever setting foot in Buckingham Palace again. Kay expressed it as follows. Their attempt to reintegrate into the royal circle is seen as rather insincere, especially considering the recent tumultuous period for the couple in Hollywood. He added, Regaining acceptance within the royal family would undoubtedly elevate the couple back into the A-list spotlight. Admit it, a B-list actress with limited talent and a petulant royal offspring hardly generates substantial revenue, does it? 